Hello folks, Simulation for the Nation here. Welcome back to another map tour on this fine Monday. Today you join me on the French Plain. A new-ish map to the mod up there by Russ Farmans, Viet Zapiego and Nick Deuce as well. This is a staggeringly big map. We are looking at 247 hilly fields all crammed in around some beautiful rolling french countryside there take a look around the map here from the instant view of where we start as well and it is pretty well detailed i must admit it has everything you need including 12 different cell points it has some really good custom detail here in and around the the small villages and towns all of the buildings are looking fantastic lots of animations across the map such as birds flying over there as well which really give you that sense of immersion across the map uh, there's going to be six different areas on here that you can build your own farm map. We're going to try and find some of those right about now. So if you're a fan of building your own placeable farm, this is going to be a good map for you. Uh, they have modified a lot of the height and density of some of the, the crop types. Just make them look a little bit thicker there, make those crops look stand out just that ever bit uh, more. It has French license plates as well. So you really do get a sense of immersion. But to be honest, my first view, uh, impressions of this map are really quite good. It's a, it's a staggeringly beautiful map actually on when you're at ground level here when you get to drive around it it does have some uh, a variety of shapes of fields and a lot of different sizes of fields from very small to much larger it's got everything you need there to keep you going uh, and it will allow you to have that uh that long lasting gameplay which i think is important for maps uh, we will get to some roads just have traffic on sooner or later but right now we're just cruising down this lovely asphalt uh there is one of our little place areas by looks things that's pretty cool a little bit of a forestry area there and then we get to our giveaway lots of nice little features around the map there lots of wind turbines dotted around construction sites as well as forestry locations as well uh, which just gives you something to look at and something to get stuck into really as you're farming along you'll notice as we come up to fields like this one on the left here there is a nice little ditch so you do have to look out for where the access points into the field are otherwise you're gonna end up uh, wrecking your car uh but yeah we are looking pretty good here right now i must say uh that the uh the map is entirely made for uh pc only at the moment there we'll have to wait and see if there's a console version coming but this i like i would imagine that this is seasons driven as well there so at different times of the year we might see different roadworks coming up there uh but that is pretty cool nice little road repair Power lines following alongside the road there as well. Nice looking uh, models being used for that. Yeah, you can really see they've uh, kicked up the height of the corn now. Good lord, is that tall. Epic. Really epic. So we're going to bring up the map again. Figure out just where we're going. We're going to kind of follow this main road all the way down to our yard. And have a look at the yard there. And see what's going on. Like I say, so much detail here. It's nice to see it is a rolling uh, map as well. Lots of different undulating hills of various different sizes in there. Uh, so it really does have its own uh, unique feel. And I think that's very important to uh, to have in the map there. Uh, lovely and green at the moment. Obviously, we're in the height of some of those. So the greens are so vibrant. I think that really sticks out. Uh, when you do get into nighttime as well, you can expect to see uh, a darker night uh, with deeper uh, blue skies as well during the day. Uh, so it's going to be really pretty cool to have there with thanks to that um, custom lighting textures there now I think we're going to go around this way we are so many fields down to the south there good lord but what I do really like is that we've managed to actually intersperse the fields with uh, with nice features lakes, rivers, that kind of thing uh, I think that's very important to have uh, it just allows you to yeah, really see a different area oh there's a little car, there's a 2ZV Hello to you. But yeah, as you can see, as we look over there, the road stretching into the distance, the rolling hills, what looks like a, a high speed there, as I feel the barley on our left. Um, nice and busy roads, though, as well. So many of you will know I don't play too many European maps there, but the detail on this one is very staggering. I do find this is very intriguing indeed. Uh, fans of dedicated servers would love this because there's so many fields that you can buy and you can gradually extend what a field into one another to increase the amount of land you can work on there so i've been chased by the police or well, somewhere that's weird uh but yeah there's just so many different fields that you could uh, you could acquire and then buy the neighboring field and plow it on in uh like i say fields in different locations there on sides of hills so there's such as a steep hill like that one it really does make it quite interesting you can see we've also moved on to a different road 
Uh, one which still has its road markings on there, which is pretty neat to see. Oh, we're coming up to a slightly built up little town here. What do we got? What do we got? A few buildings there. Looks like it's a. Maybe a little barn there. That's cool. I like it. I like it. So many different uh, styles of buildings as well. Oh, derelict, derelict little barn in the corner there. That's cool. I like that a lot. I do like that. Okay, so we're going to go and have a look at that farm, yeah? There's some more construction work. That's neat. Get it done in the summer before the roads turn to trash again. Uh, and yeah, I just love the fact that you, you, you got a nice little road texture there with markings in some locations. I really do like the, the vibrancy on the map here. I think that looks really nice indeed. Uh, it would fit some smaller equipment as well because some of the fields there are really quite minute. If you, if you pick the right area to start in there, you should be laughing. Uh, here we are coming up to our farm though. Uh, how does one get into here? We're going to try up the hill. If it's not there, we'll just book it through the, uh, book it through the fields. No one will mind. And there we go. Seeing a few bits of equipment lying around there. We need to go have a look in. Ooh, there's an entrance. I'll take that one. Well, all right then. And down we come into this farm. Now, this is using... Ooh, a little gate here as well. Hey, thank you very much. Large, big shed. I do believe that's the giant's large shed, actually. So that's pretty cool to have. You do get quite a good start array, array of start equipment, but also... If you like me and you like to kind of make your yards look a little bit more enclosed, look at all the space that you have in which to uh, to try again, really, to to build out, to expand. All along here, I mean, I'm thinking silage pits, I'm thinking cattle sheds, I'm thinking slurry stores. Uh, maybe uh, get a bit, change out some of these bale storage points as well, get a workshop in here, and so much more. It's huge, absolutely huge. So I think that is really good. Let's start up. Another little entrance point there. So the world is really uh, your oyster here. You can do whatever you want. And it's, you know, I really do like that, actually. Surrounded by trees on one side, so there's not a big barren, flat patch of land there. You do have this bit of shelter over here. I think that does look very, very good indeed. So, uh, yeah, I think this is fantastic, actually. Really quite impressed by this. Now, we're going to go for a bit more of a drive. But first of all, machinery-wise, you'll see over here we've got a Deutzfahrt Combine. Uh, this is the in-game 4090. There is a 4045 out there in the mod now, worth checking out. Uh, you got your Massey 7726, you got a class as well, a 650 Arian. Uh, and then tucked in behind here, you got to have an old Massey. You know, it wouldn't be right not to. So there is your 3670 with the dueled up as well, looking magnificent. Uh, let's see if there's anything in here. Might be a surprise or two. Yeah, you got a forklift and a pickup truck. Love to see it. And yes, you got plenty of equipment you'll need. That's fantastic there. That looks like it was our only way in and out. So we'll go back. Nailed it. And we will keep on having a bit of a drive around to see what else we can find. So we are in the southwest corner, really. Uh, so I think what would be good to do is try and get a bit of a drive up towards the north. Now we are missing a road. It does seem like our nearest road is one of those turns that we took way back the other way there. But that is all good. But just look at the rolling hills. Very, very nice map. Any way you look across this map there, your uh, eye line and your eyesight is uh, interrupted by something. Be it, uh, be it a hill, be it a forest, be it a... you got a little uh, hunting blind over there. Or a wind turbine or something. Your view is interrupted and I like that. I think that's a really great little thing to have. Where's that road go? Oh, to there maybe. We're going to cut through here. I'm curious. Nice little forest track now, so change of attack track texture. This one's going to cut through along the side of a field here. Through past the old derelict barn here as well. That's a nice looking feature there. I like that a lot. 
Let's have a look at this. Yeah, I like this. Nice to see the signs of what, what was once here. That's cool. I just get the idea as well that this would be a great map you get with the placeable buildings uh, and the placeable features as well. A lot more hedges up if you want, quite easy there. Really decorate this map to your heart's content and really start with some great fun on it, actually. But yeah, as you can see, as we drive around as well, the size of some of these fields vary quite a lot. Uh, some huge fields, some not so big fields. So you can, as I mentioned there, you can really choose how you want to play this. Uh, being a European setting there, I would think something like a, a, a smaller setup to begin with would be great and build up into their more modern, more, uh, uh, more capacity, larger equipment, I think would be a great way to go. But look at this nice rolling hill. I love that a lot. Flying down here. This is where I heard the police. I wonder if speed drop around here somewhere. Maybe they're gonna get me. Large, large forest on a hill as well makes it nice and interesting. Uh, but again, like, see these three fields here, plow all those in together, make one nice and big field. Oh, there's a. What from there? Yeah, there's a buzz from the uh, pylons. That's cool. That's really neat. Go this way. I am not stopping for anyone. We are going. Large grass field here, field number three, by the looks of things, on our left, and just through those trees there. That's neat. I guess that's what that is. Unless, 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 that might be. I like this as well. This is a, uh, you know, the vegetation growing back through once the crop, well, once the forest has been thinned out, sunlight hits the floor there, and things are starting to grow. And I like that. This is a placeable area, is what this is. Now that's neat. It's huge, but that is neat. I like that a lot. That's a really good idea. Very, very good idea. It just abandoned my truck on the side there, but we will go back and get that. That's fine. So during the different seasonal months there, when you get into winter, you'll start to see various different things like, um, like snowmen appear. And you might also see campsites in the summer there, along with roadworks and things as well. So lots of variation. Just a smaller detail though, things like the all the uh, dead lumber on the side there, all the waste looks really good. Very, very impressed. And now, let's head back this way. I think this is the way we came. Let's see, let's see. Oh, we're up to here already. Okay, that's in, so no, we won't go this way. About turn and power. So we'll go for a bit of a spin up here. I feel like I need an old Renault to play this map effectively. I do need myself an old Renault there. I think that'd be great. Uh, I'm not sure if there are any plans for this to come to console just yet. Uh, I don't know if they are working on that for an update. It does mention that on the matter that they are looking to get an update out quickly. So perhaps that will involve some form of uh, console patch, one would hope. <laughs> Sorry, CV. So yeah, I think this is very, very impressive. I really do like this map an awful lot. Oh, we're coming back into town. I've gone the wrong way. That's okay. And that is your summer camp by the looks of things. We'll rake it around there. I've just been uh, rammed by a, a, a angry local. But we'll go to the right here at the top of this hill. We'll have a look at... There's a placeable area on the middle of a, a lake that we're going to have a look at. Placeable area number one. You can see they are identified by a different uh, a different number or a different shade of number, which is cool. So we're going to go and have a look at that. I just don't know how we quite get up to there. But I think what we'll end up doing is just nip through one of these here fields. I'm sure it'll be fine. Pick this one here. Now this is this is great.
I mean, sure, this will be a road. Why not? I like the hunting blinds everywhere. I'm assuming that's what they are, or fire lookouts, but given the location, I'm not sure if it'll be fire lookouts there, but... Ooh, now. Now, this is good. Let's nip around here. Little bit of a access point there. Oh, this is lovely. You'll love to see it. And then we're coming across onto a large... Oh, a little bridge. Love it, love it. It's not often my farms have their own little bridge access and everything. There's a fish in there. Ah. Never seen a fish on here before. There it is. That's cool. Again, small little things. But here you are, placeable area number one with a connection into an island just over here as well. But look at this for a little farmyard. This could be pretty epic in the middle of a lake as well. What's not to like about that? And then bob on over to here as well. Ooh, nice. Hmm, this map is nothing but full of surprises and I'm here for it. I like it an awful lot. So before we do wrap up, that's as always there. We'll have a look at a few different things around the map here. Uh, we're just going to switch off our engine now. Um, so first things first, we're just going to pop up our... Um, this is our developer console. See if there are any giant errors coming through with the map there or anything that we need to be uh, concerned about. And there are no errors there, which is great. Uh, last message populated there was about the deer spawning in. Uh, which is good. If we come on into the map, first of all, just look at the color on this map. Is that not insane? I think that's fantastic. There's so much there to choose from. And as I mentioned on many occasions, you can start with these uh, like small clusters of fields all around here, or you can go into some of the bigger fields as well around here and merge those all together anyway. This block here would be huge just to buy and merge all into one, even fell the trees in between and go full-scale agriculture if you would wish to. But yeah, this map is very, very surprising in a very good way. And I'm very pleased about it, actually. I think this is great. So huge, huge shout out to the uh, the creators again. Uh, and this is available on ModHub currently right now for all PC and Mac users and hopefully very shortly for console. But we'd have to keep an eye out on the ModHub for that. There is a version 2 coming soon. So hopefully that is on the plan. Uh, we're going to leave it here, though, for now. I hope you have enjoyed this. Do let me know what you think of this map down below. If you had a look at it already, let me know what your thoughts are. And I would love to hear from you very shortly. Until next time, though, I've been Simulation for the Nation. I do hope you have enjoyed, and we'll see you all in the next one. Catch you later.